Hey guys, and welcome to Cricut. Making small boxes can be a stress-free project and a great way to say thank you. Let's make this cute small box with the coordinating three-dimensional flower. All we need are a few fun products from Cricut. These great poster board sheets come in a variety of colors and are pre-cut to the size of our cutting mat. We'll also need some cardstock, a Cricut scoring stylus, a Cricut tweezer tool, a spritzing water bottle, a hot glue gun, foam squares, and some ribbon. To begin our project, open Cricut Design Space and make sure you're logged in. Then you can click on Create New Project. Let's start with the box. In the search field, enter the keyword box. Look how these boxes are shown pre-folded for us so it's easier to decide what box we want to work with. I like the look of this takeout box. Let's select it and add it to the design screen. We'll match the color of the box to the color of our poster board. I like to click on a color that is similar and then just refine the color. Jade seems to be in the same family, but it's not quite right. So we can use custom colors to achieve a closer match. This looks like a pretty good representation. Let's maximize the size of this image so we're using as much of the 12 by 12 piece of poster board as possible. Open the edit panel and locate the largest measurement, either the height or the width. Our machine can cut up to 11 and a half inches. In this case, the width is the largest measurement, so we'll change this field to be 11.5. Do you see the lines on the box? These are score lines. You can tell when something is a score line because it'll show up in the layers panel with this image. Score lines are pre-placed on images for us and will make it easy to fold the box. This is the center of the box. These are the sides and these flaps fold up around everything and the tab goes into the slit. We want to decorate this square and this square. They'll be the front and back of our box. So let's add a piece of paper to the box to give it some character. We'll click insert shape and select a square. We want the square to fit inside the score line so it looks like it needs to be about two inches. Let's duplicate the square so we have one on each side of the box. I think these will look good in cream. Adding a three-dimensional flower to the box will really make it stand out. We'll go back to the image library and filter for 3D objects. Now let's narrow the search for flowers. Okay, I know this doesn't look like much of a flower at all, but once we put it all together, I promise you, it will. We want to size the image to be approximately three times the size we want our final flower to be. I want a two inch flower, so this image needs to be about six inches. Let's place a thank you greeting onto this other panel. I really want something that fills the space, so let's see what we can find in the image library. This card has a great look, but we only want the sentiment. I'll show you how to work with the images to achieve this. You can see in the layers panel, this card has two layers, the blue top layer and the yellow bottom layer. Anytime we have two layers, we can slice an image. Slice splits two overlapping layers into separate parts. The image is grouped, so all we have to do is select it and click slice to watch the magic happen. There we go, we went from two layers to four layers. We'll delete those layers we don't need. Now we're left with the sentiment. We'll size it to our square. This piece is so thin it would be difficult to glue, so instead let's use the same slice tool to cut the sentiment from the square. Select both images and then click Slice. Now we're left with three images. We'll delete the ones we don't need. Our design is almost complete, but I think we need to add a small touch of color to the back of the box to tie everything together. A small heart will do the trick. Size, position, and rotate the heart the way it should appear on our project. And last, let's change the color of the heart to be pink and then sync the heart and the flower color. I think our project is ready to go. So click Save, name the project, then click Save again. We're now ready to cut our project. If everything looks good on the mat preview, Go ahead and click go. Our box is going to cut first. This is the piece that will be cut from the poster board. There's a setting on the dial for poster board, and if you have thinner poster board, leave the dial set here. However, if your poster board is thicker, turn the dial one click forward. 
This will cut your design twice doing what we call a multi-cut. We can place the poster board onto our mat and then load the mat into the machine. As soon as that happens, the screen gives us a prompt to load a scoring stylus into accessory clamp A. So open the handle, hold up the clamp while you insert the scoring stylus. This will snap it right into place. Then close the clamp. Press the blink and go button on your machine to begin the cut. Our other two pieces are cardstock, so follow the prompts on the computer to cut these pieces. Let's assemble our flower first. We need to roll up the paper to make it look like a flower. And the tighter we roll the paper, the tighter the flower will be. Use the tweezers to hold the end of the paper and roll the paper around. If your paper seems really stiff, spritz it with some water. This will soften the paper fibers and make it easier to work with. The roll should end up about the size of the circle at the end of the image. This will be the base of our flower. Now hold the flower in your hand like so and slowly allow the petals to loosen but keep that flower secure. Hold the base of the flower on a table separated from the rest of the flower. Using your glue gun, generously apply glue, but watch your fingers. Place the roll onto the base and hold securely while the glue cools. Now, start fluffing your petals to make your flower look full by bending them outward. This will produce a perfect flower every time, I promise. To assemble the box, fold along the score lines, and we'll add a dab of hot glue here and here, and fold over the tab here and here. You can fill your box with some treats or whatever you like. Now close up your box by holding the tabs together and inserting them into the slits. Apply glue to the sentiment square and place it on the box. A foam square on the heart will give this side of the box a little dimension and just a bit of interest. Now apply glue to the cream square and place it on the other side of the box. Add some hot glue to the back of the flower and place it on the ribbon. Flatten the box tabs and wrap the ribbon around the box. Cut off any excess ribbon. Glue the ribbon and flower in place. And there you have it, a perfect party favor. The next video in our series will show you how to remove detailed parts of an image for simpler cuts, which is especially useful when working with thicker materials. Cricut makes it easy to go from inspiration to creation.